Tasmania. To Tasmania. To Tasmania. For our summer break. I'm going to go to Tasmania today with my friends. I'm so excited because we've been planning this trip for months and I'm finally ready to go. I'm gonna go right now to my friend's place because we're gonna meet up there and then we're gonna go to the airport together. Hi! We're going to Tasmania! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Since we're gonna be in Tasmania for a week, we decided to just get groceries and cook whenever we can because all the Airbnbs that we booked have kitchens anyway. That way we can save some money and make this trip more affordable. We yeah. have arrived and our Airbnb is like in the middle literally in the middle of nowhere. For the record, I wouldn't book this place if I knew that it was <laughs> no, in the middle of but nowhere. But the thing is, you have to see the view, kind of. Hi. Airbnb tour! Airbnb tour! Oh wait, this is the first part. This is like the bathroom slash laundry. Yay. What is this? The first bedroom? I'm definitely not sleeping alone here. The kitchen. Oh my god, okay, this is so pretty. Wow, look at the view. Everyone's been so excited ever since we got here. Okay, let's go upstairs. We're going upstairs. We've been trying to take a photo. Morning people. Morning It's our first hike of the trip. But before we go, we're gonna take a photo of this really nice cottage. We had a really nice quick stay in this cottage. Hey guys! So we are on the way to the Cradle Mountain with me. I'm sleeping. And Rani, as always, is on the way. Oh, what did I press? And Sophie has our GPS. There's a bomb! After we arrived, there's like a parking lot and visitor center with souvenir shop and stuff. But to actually start the hike, we need to ride the shuttle bus. There are a couple of starting points for the hike and the bus will stop at wherever we want. Yay! 
Yeah, okay. So since my water spilled out a bit, my sandwich <gasps> is all wet, wet and soggy. <laughs> I'm eating a wet and soggy tuna sandwich. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, anyways, we're gonna start our hike. Finally, we've arrived at the starting point. And look at how pretty. Oh my god. I'm gonna start with saying that this Cradle Mountain is my favorite destination of our entire trip. Look, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen some of the photos and oh my god, it looks so beautiful. Like I swear the photos don't do them justice still. Is that a hedgehog? Where? But those Instagram posts also didn't do our hike justice because it looks like we just took photos at some tourist destinations, but we hiked. Like this was probably our longest hike, but it was so fun and we got to see many different views along the way. My three of my friends. Malu na Devi. This is what happens when you go on a hike with tourists. Mm. She's so patient for this. Yeah. For context, she's a local. We're the tourists. <laughs> I hate stairs. <laughs> she wants to give up. I do. Oh, and I especially also love this place because like all nature sites in Tasmania are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but let's be honest here. Some of them look like I can also find something similar in my home country by the photos at least, but this one is nothing like I've ever seen back home. We're having a break. Oh my god, it's all wet. We made tuna sandwiches my wet and back tuna sandwich. at the cottage so that we can have it for lunch here right now. Welcome to our second Airbnb. Yay! <laughs> Everyone's tired already. Okay, so this is the first room, which is just a office, I guess. First bedroom. I guess it's theirs now. I don't want to be. I don't want us next to the plant. The second bedroom has this huge plant. Oh, bathroom. The kitchen. There are 
actually not a lot of shops or places to visit in this island so we checked out almost every single shops we drove past and this was the first one that we saw we just wanted to check it out they have this tester table and we tried all of their honeys and it's so good so we all ended up getting a couple for ourselves and our families Let's do a haul. We all got honeys, but like different types. I bought the prickly box cream. And Natasha bought the book. I bought the Maluka honey. The... Oh, I also bought the ice cream. <laughs> Brotherwood honey ice cream. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. So they knew that. She Really good. Swing. Come on, look. And for four of us. And then for everyone. This was supposed to be one of the best-selling menu, which is the oyster mushroom something linguine. This one, and that is the beer battered fish and chips. And this one is the wallaby bolognese. As far as we know, this is like one out of three of the only restaurants in this island. This is the first one that we found, and we're hungry, so our first time trying the wallaby. Can I try it on me? Yes. I think it would have tasted like regular beef or lamb though. Doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like beef. After that, we basically just drove toward the direction of the ferry port, but we made some stops along the way whenever we saw any lookouts or beaches that seemed pretty. Aside from the oyster place, this was our other main destination in this island. Well, I'm not sure about everyone else, but at least it was mine. Because whenever you google Bruni Island, this spot is always the photos that will be shown. We had to take these stairs for the lookout spot and just FYI, they actually named the spot after an indigenous woman who fought for her people. We're going on another hike. We are currently at the Coles Bay area, but specifically this is the wine glass, right? Hi. I have no idea what she's doing. Anyways, this place is like so beautiful. It's different than the other hiking areas. This was our second hike and I love how even though they are both like just hikes, Wineglass Bay and Cradle Mountain have really different views, which are both beautiful in their separate ways. And I'm not gonna lie though, I was already pretty tired after our first hike and driving from one place to another because by the way, we underestimated the size of Tasmania. Each drive could be like around 300 kilometers, so this hike was pretty hard for me. At one point, I was really out of breath. Surviving but barely. <laughs> But these views made it really worth it. After we finished our hike at Wine Glass Bay, we just drove around and made some stops whenever we saw pretty beaches or lookout. Funny enough, one of them, we didn't know that it actually led to some kind of a hike again. But again, I'd say it was also worth it because I know that you're probably sick of hearing me say the views are so pretty, but they really are. And it's also about how these places are naturally authentic and not heavily touristy, if you know what I mean? So it's a really good way to refresh. We 
have arrived at our next Airbnb slash cottage. Oh my god, it's pretty nice. Okay, so the kitchen area, the bathroom's over here, the living room, there's a terrace over here. This is like actually a pretty big area of accommodation. So like they have like multiple cottages here. Oh, it's a bunk bed. Wait, oh my god. So there's one bedroom like this and then the other one is like bunk bed of four like this. We are going out again because we want to go to the lighthouse which is like over... Where is it? Where's the lighthouse? There. Which is over there because we want to see the sunset from up there. There it is, the lighthouse. Oh my god, this entire place is so beautiful. <laughs> We're going to Mariah Island. The bike it's so expensive. It's $30 for each person. But we actually left our car back on that other side and there's nothing here like there's no shops and There's no there's shops, no shops there's vehicles, no vehicles, transportation We're actually questioning like what are we doing right now? <laughs> Why did we put looking ourselves at, looking at houses in this situation? Like what's going on here? We're looking at the tree Walking to fossil cliff. Fossil cliff. It's gonna be like one. <laughs> it's gonna be like a one to two hour walk. Supposedly there are a lot of like Australian wildlife around here, like actually out in the wild. So we might encounter some like kangaroos, wombats, or even Tasmanian devils. Oh my god, we literally look like we're in the middle of nowhere from camera, like an uncharted island. <laughs> This one's called Fossil Cliff because the rocks around here are actually filled with fossils of sea animals. It wasn't super obvious, but you can see them if you really pay attention. Oh no, it's raining. Our next walk is actually really interesting, not because of the destination itself, but our walk there was filled with many appearances of wild animals. We spotted a kangaroo, many wallabies, patamelons, and wombats. Like, can you see that we're walking in a literal forest right now? Anyways, don't worry if you want to come here, it's completely safe. Okay, so we figured it out finally. They purposely keep the nature of this island like and the main attraction of this island is it's like authentic Australian wildlife. And there are multiple like pretty cliffs. The most popular and pretty one is available if you come here in the morning because you need to see it during like the tide or something. Anyways, this is like not the kind of vacation that we do normally, but it's still so interesting. 
our third Airbnb. This is the first room, which is the living room. And the TV area, kitchen, the bedroom. We're all gonna sleep together here. And then the bathroom's over here with some washer and dryer. We are walking to the Farmgate Market in Hobart. We just arrived at Mount Wellington. It's so cold. Despite this one being called a mountain, we didn't hike. I mean, you can if you want to from a certain point, but they've actually made a road all the way up to the top of the mountain. Like some people actually said that it's taking the fun out of getting to the top, but that's what we did because we were tired and the hike seems really steep. Up there, we got to see the view from the city from literally above the clouds because as you can see in this video, we were driving through the clouds at one point. And by the way, we can see the city clearly because this mountain is really like in the city, I think. Either way, it was really close from the city. Bunk beds, the parents' bed, we get free coffee, the bathroom. This is our last day in Tasmania. We're just gonna go around Hobart. We're going to the souvenir shop and jewelry shop. This wasn't initially planned in our itinerary, but we made some changes because we decided that we were already in Hobart, might as well explore the city. So we just strolled around, went to some souvenir shops or any shops we found interesting, and we went to the mall for a bit. We're gonna get lunch at Flippers. Our friend said that it has a really good fish and chips. We're having our fish and chips in the car because we just realized that it's just a takeaway place. We didn't have anywhere else to go to, but we still had time for our flight, so we decided to go and visit the Royal Botanical Garden, and we're glad that we did because it's so pretty too. Honestly, like I really don't want to compare, but I visited Melbourne's Royal Botanical Garden, and this one's so much prettier in my opinion. Like it's nice to just walk around here and with all these views, or maybe if you want to sit and just chill there. What is this? 